actually I shouldn't say anything just listen and if you sometimes hear clavichord sound too soft for concerts we are here in a chapel it's a third recording we make here it's I think approaching 11 o'clock in the evening so it's really dead silent and if you ever hear someone say clavichords are just too soft when you place the instrument in its right environment listen to this That's only some noise from the case. But listen to this. Clavichord is the instrument of silence, which doesn't mean it needs to sound soft. That's not one of its qualities. The instruments that really sound loud in a relatively way, I mean that the sound comes out of the instrument, are probably the best. But in any way, the clavichord really approaches the silence in a way few other instruments can do. And if in this room would be 50 people, they would be dead silent as well, I can tell you. So it's almost impossible to speak now. I've just recorded swearing. Very beautiful variation, three variations. Funde Fortuna. And you can feel the atmosphere here changing. And that's really the magic of a clavier chord. Okay, having said that, it's wonderful to be here. This, as I said, it's the third part in this episode. We will come back with it. my big sax of the court once. Initially, we have thought, and I will walk to that camera and just show you the environment now with candle. But in a human way, I mean, there are some noises on the background, very far. It's probably some wind. There is no traffic that I can hear, but it's not that sound for a microphone. A microphone enhances everything in a very brittle way. Even the sound of the clavichord, I was just playing just one note. That's enhanced in a way that's impossible in another way to do because the sound needs to be amplified. It's just a little tiny diaphragm membrane that, that, that shakes a little bit, vibrates a little bit, so it needs amplification. So there's no way you can capture this atmosphere in the recording. I have now put the microphones further, a little bit far, actually quite a lot further, it's about one meter distance from the instrument, which I could do now. So I to record something of the room, the liveliness of this room, which I couldn't do earlier today and yesterday because of the apparently more environmental noises that came into the microphone. So that's possible now, but even then you will not get this atmosphere and that's really the atmosphere for the clavichord. So that's the reason that the Bach partitas will not be recorded here but at, or in our living room really late night with double windows and actually three double windows all for the next project hopefully in the studio 
So I played tonight the Von der Fortuna Werd ich getrieben from Zwelink. That's the second Zwelink piece I'm doing on this instrument, a copy of a clavichord, a fretted clavichord in the Russell Collection in Edinburgh, made by Christopher Clark in 1978. Its owner is Patrick Colomb, famous Belgian organ builder. And if you would like to know a little bit more on this instrument, I have made an afterthoughts after the buckle bell recording I did on this instrument. I will link in this video to that recording so you can, to that video so you can uh, learn some details on this instrument. And last video, last recording was also a piece of swing because the Echo Fantasia in D minor. And this third one is actually just a uh, late uh, idea, Anya and I well said to each other, why don't we come back this night, this evening, if it is dark? Have some candlelights, and that's the real atmosphere for uh, for the clavichord, and certainly for this piece. And what happens then, if you stand here where I stand now, and that's actually the only topic of this afterthought, it's about silence, and you just play the first note. The feeling you have as a player, and I think also as a listener, is if you enjoy the silence here with absolutely nothing, and again, these very far noises, that's something you, you don't hear, you don't mention. That if you sit here for a while, your level of hearing is adapting to this point of zero. And it's like freeing your soul, really. And any noise, and that's talking is a little bit, I shouldn't be talking now maybe, but any noise is a disturbance of that silence, of that, that feeling of unity, that's unique except for playing with an instrument like a clavichord because it's the sound is born out of silence so if i just can start it's like the silence it's getting deeper it's getting more fundamental and after finishing the piece there is a kind of blanket over this room and that's putting you in an atmosphere that once you experience that life you will never forget and I, do, I know many of you are clavichord players that professional or amateur doesn't matter but have experienced that feeling of enhancement of silence and so the clavichord as instrument of silence again not that it should sound soft but it can approach the silence in a way that few other instruments are capable of. So to end this afterthought, clavichord as an instrument of silence, again not, not meaning that it is a whisper instrument as I sometimes read, it's really not, it's an instrument with power, with expression and whispering or, or, or sounding soft is not a quality. The quality is that it should be capable of sounding soft, really kind of leveling out the silence and few instruments can do that and I thought there's no better environment to talk about that aspect that's really one of the key elements of clavichords and clavichord playing than here in this beautiful chapel 16th century, early 16th century chapel with candlelight and with almost nothing here around our ears so to say I I uh, want to end by thanking again the uh, local village here and the um, administration and the uh, mayor and aldermen for giving me access to this beautiful place and we hopefully if we are allowed to come back many times in the future uh, maybe for recordings but also maybe for making vlogs uh, um, spoken videos on, on musical topics I also want to thank the patrons for the Authentic Sound. You know, we are Authentic Sound is on patreon.com. That's a website where you can support us to make more of these videos on location with other instruments. So, and for all of you, thank you for watching. 
and we see each other next time again probably back on my big saxon clavichord bye